What's up guys, JV2017 here, and I'm showing you guys the McLaren MP4-12C, which is a super, super futuristic looking car. I'm not exactly sure if this is uh, on the roads today. It might be a concept because of the C, or it could be just stupid, and <laughs> it's got a C for some other reason in its name, some practical reason. But uh, yeah, the McLaren. I believe it is one of the most wanted cars, so... You can pretty much infer that it's really fast. Uh, it's got some really good handling, except for right there. But that was my fault. That's not the car's fault. <laughs> I didn't expect that turn to come up so fast. That turn right there is one of the most difficult in the game, I will say. Uh, there's like five or ten turns on these these races that really get you every single time. And it's really, um, you know, learning how to brake properly. Like use the actual brake, the left trigger on the Xbox. Or I'm assuming that's the... Um, left or L2 on the PS3 if you guys play PS3 I don't know what it would be on the PC uh, but learning that built ability to use the brake at the right time is just priceless especially in such a fast-paced arcadey uh, racing game uh, as this as Need for Speed Most Wanted but anyways we're doing the red shift race which is a circuit race and this is one of the longer races in the game, if not the longest. Uh, I believe my final time somewhere around 3 minutes and 30 seconds. So that's definitely uh, one of the longer races. I feel like there's one that's almost 4 minutes long, but this definitely uh, ranks up there. And something I like to tell you guys with these circuit races is don't get frustrated early. If you're behind early in these circuit races, don't get mad, don't restart, because there's so much time for you to make up lost ground. And uh, it's really easy to. Right here, this roadblock is ridiculous, but uh, the McLaren is strong enough to just power through it, just get right through that roadblock without crashing, which most cars would. And I guess, I can't really remember exactly if this is one of the lighter or heavier cars, but I think we can assume by watching that, you know, this is one of the heavier cars. So it's able to uh, withstand a little more damage than, say, your Lamborghinis. Um, or your Bach Monos, or BAC Monos, or the Formula One cars that are in this game that are just really, really awesome, really fast, huge acceleration, but, you know, crash at every single turn, you know. So, yeah, like I was, uh, I was talking about with the Bugatti that it's so valuable to have a heavy car, and again, you get that benefit with the McLaren as well as just being a really beast heavy car that you don't have to worry about slamming into a wall because half of the time uh, you won't crash and you'll just be right back in the race and it'll be uh, everything will be gravy but as you can tell I just have a pretty pretty large margin of lead here and uh, the cops are also chasing us in this in this race and that always makes things a little more interesting a little uh, you know makes you get on your toes a little more I I should say which is you know just another factor of <laughs> Need for Speed Most Wanted, which is all about, you know, having fun, getting cops on your tail, losing the cops, winning races, all that fun stuff. Uh, but anyways, guys, I'm going to nitrous into the finish line in first place. Hope you guys enjoyed. Peace.